when you're looking for KitchenAid innovation and quality. Who has the answers, the selection, the price? Ventura TV Appliance. With billions in nationwide appliance buying power, more than Home Depot and Best Buy combined, we'll help you save. Our low prices on Energy Star qualified KitchenAid appliances save you energy and money and pay no interest on select models when paid in full within 12 months. Ventura TV Appliance, serving you since 1951. Take a look at this. Let's play. This is too hip for y'all, slow down. Let's play! Watch all your favorite classic game shows on Buzzer TV, KBBC Digital Channel 13.7. The following is a list of celebrities you will not see on MeTV programs. Charlie Sheen, Lindsay Lohan, Snooki, Paris Hilton, Perez Hilton, Honey Boo Boo, Justin Bieber, Simon Cowell, Chris Brown, Miley Cyrus, and the real housewives of any place. This is who you will see on MeTV programs. Lucy, Ralph, Mary Perry, Gilligan, Kenneth, Spock, Batman, Rowdy, Festus, and the Beaver. MeTV, thanks for watching. Hi, I'm John Malice. Welcome to this live edition of Connect With Me on the showroom floor at Ventura TV on this day. Hey, my friends, i got to ask you a question. Am I sitting up straight or am I hunched over? Everyone keeps telling me, sit up straight, stand up straight. Today, we're going to talk to a chiropractor who might be able to fix that problem and yours. 436 Me TV Option 11. I'm sitting up straight, my friends. How about you at home? Are you doing the same? Back in a moment. <laughs> And welcome back to the show here on Connect With Me on MeTV Fresno. I'm so glad you're along here on a Tuesday morning. Hey, by the way, I've got a little programming note here as I'm trying to <clears throat> sit up straight in my chair today. You know, a lot of times I hunch over, which is not good for posture. And as I get older, as we all get older, we have to watch out. And my guest is now sitting up straight. Everyone is sitting up straight now. You know, a programming note here before I move on and talk about uh, today's program. On Thursday really interesting program. You remember that guy Dennis Hart here yesterday, our media expert? The guy knows everything about everything. Actually, he knows nothing just like me. I know nothing either. But he is going to be in Iowa for a month. Yes, believe it or not, that's where all the candidates are campaigning. So on Thursday, he's going to call in. Wednesday is the debate again. CNN carries that Republican debate on Wednesday night. We'll have a, maybe a few short clips here on Thursday morning. But Dennis Hart will join us live on the telephone from Iowa because that's where the big Iowa caucus takes place every election year. He'll be there to get the reaction. He'll be on the phone with us to tell us about what they're saying in the newspapers and on television. Dennis Hart, I, our guy on the ground, the eyes and ears of Connect With Me on the ground in Iowa on Thursday. And on the same day, Steph Stoltenberg will be here. She's a real estate agent also does home decorating, uh, so that'll be part of the program too. But I can't wait for Thursday. And then tomorrow's program, we'll talk about the trucking industry here in the state of California and how it's doing. Anyway, a reminder here, you're watching us live on Comcast channel 375 each and every day, Monday through Friday on Comcast cable, of course. And then over the air broadcast on 43.6, uh, 13.1, uh, and of course, 8.1. That's if you have one of those antennas that you bought here at Ventura TV. It's over the air broadcast. The replay comes later in the day at 2 o'clock, 13.6 U2. I know our guest will be in front of the TV watching the replay today. 8 o'clock tonight, prime time, 4.6 Biz TV. And then the Twitter account uh, has not changed, my friends. It uh, remains the same if you care to check it out. And so today on the program, we're talking about chiropractors. And I know the first thing that's going through your mind, right? Snake oil, 
little quacky doctor here and there and everywhere trying to tell you what to do. Is that a real doctor? I know what's going through your mind, but there's always been a controversy surrounding chiropractors. I mean, either you believe what they're doing or you don't believe what they're doing. The history of chiropractic began way back in September of 1895, and the father of chiropractic, according to what I've read, is a guy named D.D. Palmer. His name is Daniel D. Palmer, who was actually jailed for practicing medicine back in the 1800s or the early 1900s without a license. So, I bring up the word again, quack. Okay, that was back then, this is now. As the legend goes, though, on that day, Palmer actually manipulated the spine of someone to cure his deafness. Yes, you heard that right. Palmer believed that spinal manipulation was the key to everything, but he also believed that the profession had nothing to do with medicine, that it had everything to do with him taking his own two hands and laying them down on someone's body or their bones and using manipulation to help cure them. Today, we'll be talking about all these subjects with our guest today, Dr. Kenneth Garvey. He's a chiropractor out of Merced. He practices each and every day, well, Monday through Friday anyway. So, he is going to talk about spinal degeneration and what is this manipulation? Do you like to be manipulated? Well, here's Dr. Garvey talking about spinal degeneration. In phases three, you see the bones start to overgrow. Those bones can actually come back and hit nerves. And you're going to get osteoporosis in phase five. So if you get in a car accident, a year and a half to two and a half years, you can have degeneration. And it's all because of this. The bones are not moving properly. So when they're not moving properly, I'll go in there and I will adjust that. That will be your spine. It'll move, but it'll work its way and getting stuck again. And I have to do two or three adjustments and then you'll get motion in the joint. However, if there's no motion, you're getting swelling and decay because fluid cannot get into a, the joints to feed the cartilage. The synovial fluid actually feeds that cartilage. And as it does not get its food, it pretty much dies. And so that's where you're getting degeneration. So when you're 80 years old, you can be that active grandma that's running around doing everything, or you can be grandpa sitting on his butt watching football in pain. And so you decide, come in and we'll get those. I'll adjust them for you so you're moving properly and that swelling and irritation will go away. Live in our studio right now is Dr. Kenneth Garvey, a chiropractor out of Merced. And by the way, Daniel D. Palmer, the founder of chiropractic, believed that subluxation was the sole cause of every disease. That's why he believed in manipulation, manipulating. We'll talk to Dr. Garvey about that today here on the program. 436 Me TV, option 11. Hey, what about this chiropractic thing? Is it real? Is it uh, into the mainstream of uh, the medical profession now? What is it? And can it help cure you? Call in at 436 Me TV, option 11. Back in just a moment. Revan is now on KBHF channel 4.4. Frigidaire. It means the first electric refrigerator. The first compact electric range. Now, there's the Frigidaire Gallery Range with Symmetry Double Ovens. It's designed to cook multiple dishes at multiple temperatures so you can prepare the entire meal at the same time. Frigidaire. Over 90 years of legendary innovation. See the full line of Frigidaire appliances at Ventura TV Electronics and Appliances. 
And we're back here on the program talking about chiropractors and what they can do to help you. I mean, is this myth? Is it legend? Uh, what is it? Dr. Kenneth Garvey is here. So um, I'm, I'm assuming you don't consider yourself a quack doctor, obviously. This is, this is pretty much into the mainstream now, right? Chiropractic is part of mainstream medicine. Well, I don't know, John. You asked me about yourself. You <laughs> wouldn't ask a snake doctor about how to fix yourself prior to the show. So I no, believe <laughs> nothing you haven't heard. No, before. no, 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 no. I mean, it's that the, there still are those people out there that say, "Oh, come on, this isn't real. You can't possibly be serious." Well, we've right? been around forever, so yeah, it's since not 1895. going away. And if something's around, it usually works. Yeah. Um, yeah. Acupuncture works, right? It's been around. Well, that's another thing that's controversial. Yeah. Acupuncture. Yeah. You can throw that into the mix as well. And so, you know, we had to do a whole show on that. Do you deal with uh, acupuncture at all? Or uh, I don't. I had uh, worked with an acupuncture, well, acupuncture rented from our space a long, long time ago. But uh -huh. uh, I don't know a little bit about it. But uh, yeah. one time I could not fix a knee, and uh, I sent them to the acupuncture, and the acupuncture fixed it. So if it works, Amazing. it must be. Is it? But let me ask you something. Okay, do you hear this from patients a lot, or do you hear this from people like, I do not, you know, if you're not a real doctor, which you are, if you're not like a real doc practicing doctor, I'm not going to believe you, I'm not going to go to you, I'm not going to listen to what you have to say, and I don't believe you can fix me. Do you hear this? Uh, you know, from some people, but I mean, in my not office. Not that often. Not in that my often. office, if they're coming in, it's because they believe in chiropractic, or if they're coming in for the first time, you know, we'll work with what them. What about outside your office? Outside the office, you know, I've had a couple that I'll never go to a chiropractor. Because um, why? It, mostly ignorance, but um, you know, I, it doesn't matter. I can't explain. Is they've got their mind made up, and so they're never going to change. So, so you're not going to try to convince them. No. If you want my help, then I'll help you. You got pain, you live with it, or come in. Do you get offended? <laughs> no, <laughs> not at all. You're past that, right? Yeah. Well, we help so many people. It doesn't matter. It's like if if you need help, we will help you. All right. So you know the history of chiropractic. I I don't. I've read up on it uh, last night and uh, a little bit this morning, but. Uh, um, before I took my daughter to school, I was even reading up on it then a little bit. But uh, I, you know, I look at this and I say, I've never been to a chiropractor. I've never really had back problems. Occasionally, I'd get a little pain here in the lower back, but nothing serious that would never go away. Uh, it always went away, as a matter of fact. So um, tell me something I don't know about the chiropractic business that you think I should know. Well, um, if somebody is in pain, there's a reason for that pain. Um, usually, uh, the spine, um, well, first of all, your brain is, is protected by the skull, and then you have 24 uh, vertebrae that will protect the nervous system. The nervous system actually goes out to the whole body, mm -hmm. and it uh, affects every cell, every organ, every ligament. Um, so everything in your whole body is affected by chiropractors. Hang on, caller. Okay, go ahead. Okay, by the nervous system. And so if I'm a, if you're looking at your body, your body should be able to heal itself. The brain communicates with the body. It starts with the brain, right? Yeah. And if there's disease uh, entered into the body, the brain should notify and, and, and fix it. So the first starts of chiropractic was the brain will control everything as long as the nervous system is functioning properly and if we go in and adjust those vertebra so that there's no compromise to the nerve the brain can fix the body by itself that that's the early stages you know what i should have you do hang on caller you know what i should have you do because my daughter who's 12 i should have you examine my daughter because she had surgery last year no i'm being serious now okay. because when she was two she suffered uh, from E. coli bacteria, it's called HUS, hemolytic uremic syndrome. She had several strokes and kidney failure. Now she has motor skill problems. She had hip surgery, uh, foot surgery last year, um, and she walks with motor skill problems. But it all, I think, and I think the doctors think that it all starts here, up in the brain, controlling what her body does. I don't know if you believe that that might be true in, in, in from what I've just told you. Yes, I totally believe in that. There's a there's a clinic in Oakland called Oakland Haven. On, caller. If you were to look it up in on the YouTube or internet, Oakland Haven, it uh, it directs uh, they work directly with all in, um, um, persons that are impaired, similar to what your daughter is. Um, yeah, but and she wasn't born that way. There's, she, there's people that are going to Oakland Haven without hair, without, right. there's all kinds of issues, and they're going and they're having great results with them. 
So their hair is starting to grow. They're starting to function. They're starting to eat better. They're starting but to sleep better. But it all starts with the brain. Yes. Right? Yes. Starts with the brain. Caller, you're on the air with Dr. Garvey. Go ahead. Caller. Hello. Hello. I can't hear you. Yeah, you're on the air. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, uh, let me ask you, Doctor. Uh, okay. Um, a lot of Hispanic, a lot the old, the old, uh, the older people, they still believe in these what well, we call them quacks, but they <laughs> they directly go to these people uh, to take care of, uh, you know, twists and you know and back aches and all that. And these people aren't aren't licensed at all. But for some reason, like they, like you were talking about a mental thing, that they the, the uh, a person that's doing the uh, direct uh, healing, it kind of uses that for mentality to tell them they're going to get healed, you know, whether it be a backache or, or a twist or maybe they uh, sprain an ankle and it's swollen or whatever. But they have that mentality because that's the way they were brought up uh, back in the old days, you know, that, uh, you know, you don't need to go to a doctor, okay? But they still suffer through that for, for years and years and years. But uh, the, actually there's, I don't know if there's uh, anything against the law that they can do it or not, but they're not they're not doctors at all. They don't have any, but they do have the training because they came back for uh, doing those things uh, for years ago. So, uh, what do you think? I mean, myself, I call them quacks because you go to their homes and they do the, these uh, performances, whatever, uh, for back aches and, and whatnot. That uh, uh, you know, they twist the arm and the swollen or whatever. But I've seen it, so I know. Uh, I just thought I'd let you know. Okay. The Hispanic culture have gone to sobadores, is what they call them, and they're similar to chiropractors where they m manipulate is the bone. Is that what you call a doing massages in uh, Spanish? No. What is that? Chiropractico is an Espanol chiropractor. I see. But okay. a sobador is somebody that's grown up. They, they don't necessarily have all of the schooling. So it's like an early chiropractor in 1895 okay. where they were didn't have a license. They didn't okay. have... Uh, the credentials they didn't have enough study and knowledge of the human body yet they still practice their uh, what they do and so they've learned this from culture um, it's been passed on and so they learn how to fix the body how to manipulate the body how to rub out the aches and pains and so these are what sobadores are and uh, they do help a lot of people the only problem is they don't have a license just like we didn't have a license in 1895 and so that's why we have a license and all the study requirements today well they don't have those so they're practicing illegally yeah, that's why your guy Palmer back then <laughs> yeah, had the was same arrested. Problem. Yeah, yeah, he was arrested and jailed uh, because he was practicing medicine without a license. Yes. And so we're going to talk a little bit more about that. And also we'll talk about what happened way back in 1963, my friends. And you probably know about this, that, you know, the American Medical Association, what they did to the uh, medical profession of chiropractic they tried to eliminate it altogether and just wipe it off the face of the earth wipe it off the map my <clears throat> friends it did not go down that way they were unsuccessful we'll talk about that on the other side of the break hey we got another phone call though let's take that first you're on the air caller go ahead yes good morning doctor i um myself was in two car accidents the same year six months apart and i went to four chiropractors and to this day, I have still not felt any better. I have wow. a problem with my spine. The vertebrae right in the center of my spine is, kind of, is uh, pushed in to a point that I lost uh, use of my right leg. Hmm. And like I said, I, I went, and when I would go to the chiropractor for you know, my treatment, when I got home, I felt worse than when I went. So what do you say to this? Well, um, everybody will not benefit from chiropractic care. Obviously, we're going to do not? it. Why not? <laughs> well, um, if you have a disc herniation that's putting pressure on your nerve that's causing so much pain down the leg, obviously. You need you, surgery? Most people will have improvement. But yeah, you need surgery. We uh, today work with uh, neurologists, orthopedics, medical doctors, and uh, we, we work with them. So if that chiropractic failed within 12 visits of a trial therapy, we would send you off to the next doctor, which is an orthopedic or a neurosurgeon. And did you get better with them as well? And that, that would be my question is like, if they could help you, great. We're all working together today. Is the caller, st are you still there, ma'am? Yes, I'm here. 
Okay. Did, wh when was your accident? I forgot what you said. Uh, it, this was in 77. Ja in January of wow. 77, I got hit um, yeah. by a guy that ran a stop sign on my, uh, I was driving, hit me on that side. And then the second one was in July of the same year. We got a hit, you know, hit on. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I, I went to four chiropractors, and uh, to this day, I'm still, especially when, like right now that the weather is cold and it's going to rain, I can always tell when it's going to rain. My, even my sons make fun of me because they all call me, uh, what's the weather report? Yeah. The, I don't know. The, the barometric pressure increases, and that causes increased pain on your joints or wherever you're having pain. Why, so com all people. All, compression? Well, the there's more pressure. So you have barometric pressure in so the... So it compresses. Yeah. So there's compression on the joints that are hurting. So wow. everybody that has pain severely like you can tell. Um, the, the thing I wanted to comment on for chiropractors, well, here's what you would do today. Um, you would go to a chiropractor, you'd get 12 visits, yeah. and you would see if they were, if it did not improve, you would document that, and then you would be sent off to a neurosurgeon or an orthosurgeon, um, and then they would carry that case on. You've gone to two different, three different, four different chiropractors. Well, sometimes chiropractors are a little different. Some are a little better than others. Um, that's okay to try a different one to see if that works because uh, you don't have to use drugs to enter the body. Um, but really, all those chiropractors, you know, I'll try a trial of six therapies, and if it doesn't work, yeah, I'm not going to help you either. And that's how it is today. You're what basing everything. What should she do? Outcomes. What should she do? What should this young lady do? Today, well, I mean, she's done everything. She probably closed her case out. She doesn't have insurance to cover it anymore. Where should she go from here if she's still having pain? Um, she should go to a, a neurosurgeon if her leg, if she can't feel her leg. She should go yeah. to a neurosurgeon or an orthopedic surgeon. Oh, my goodness. Gosh. And then also pain management will help her. Yeah. Are you still there, caller? Yeah, well, what I did in March of this year, uh, my doctor sent me to 12 uh, sessions of uh, physical therapy, and that didn't help. Wow. So there you go. some people have permanent disability, and whatever happens in the body, if that disc comes out and it's it damaged the nerve, well, it's permanent. And so yeah. there's nothing that you can do. You have to live with that, and you get rated on a disability scale, and you can uh, yeah. get Social Security pretty much. They, they actually have examiners that will... We'll, uh, we'll examine that, that yeah. and see if you qualify. All right, all right, caller. We got to go. We're short on time, but I appreciate your calling. Good luck to you. I, you know, I hope you're not in pain right now. I hope you're not in pain. Oh, I am because it's raining. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Bye. Okay, bye bye. I'm so sorry. I hope uh, the pain goes away, and hope that you seek out some help. I, I know it's been a long time. 1977. That's a long time to be in pain. I wish you the best of luck. A loyal viewer here on Connect with me. We're going to continue with Dr. Kenneth uh, Garvey. Of course, no relation to Steve Garvey, by the way, the former first baseman for the Los Angeles Dodgers. I don't know why I just thought of that. <laughs> anyway, um, we're going to be back here with our program, 436, Me TV Option 11. And yes, I am sitting up straight in my chair, as straight as I can. We're back in a moment. The new Frigidaire Professional line at Ventura TV Video Appliance. Enjoy generous sized cooktops and saute or simmer with ease, while true convection ovens offer even baking and juicy roasting perfection. Foods stay their freshest in spacious refrigerators with convenient controls and clear filtered ice and water. Easy to clean surfaces reduce fingerprints and the quietest of dishwashers makes cleanup a snap. The new Frigidaire Professional line at Ventura TV Video Appliance. Me? You got me? Me TV is memorable entertainment television. Sure sounds good. With a lineup of classic television shows you remember. I remember years later. And shows you can discover for the very first time. What a good stuff. There he is. Do me? You can watch Me TV Fresno on Xfinity 375 starting August 25th. Are you going to watch me or ain't you? <laughs> me TV is memorable entertainment television. When you're looking for KitchenAid innovation and quality, who has the answers, the selection, the price? Ventura TV Appliance. With billions in nationwide appliance buying power, more than Home Depot and Best Buy combined, we'll help you save. Our low prices on Energy Star qualified KitchenAid appliances save you energy and money and pay no interest on select models when paid in full within 12 months. Ventura TV Appliance, serving you since 1951.
You know, my friends, as I get older, I do not be want to become one of those men, one of those old men that are walking around like this, hunched over with a cane. I can barely see you because I'm looking like this. I want to be like this at 90. Is it possible? <laughs> can I be like this at 90? <clears throat> Well, you know, we talked about degeneration earlier, correct? Somebody needs to prop me up. You know, <laughs> you know, you know what degeneration is? Uh, no, but we're going to talk about that because okay. we have some more video. Okay. And, and, okay. and I talked about that in the monologue, as you know. You did. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah. You did. Um, but we'll talk about that as the program goes along. And okay. I also want to talk about yoga, meditation, glucosamine. Uh, as as the course of the program unfolds here, we do have a call, so let's take that as I continue to remind myself to sit up straight. <laughs> Caller, are you there? Go ahead. Yes, I wanted to address your last person regarding the chiropractor that doesn't help. Yes. A, you go to an ortho doctor, they're going to want to do surgery. I was saved by a chiropractor. I'm going to give a shout out to Dr. Jones. I had a rotator problem, and yeah, I went to him, and he hurt me, and I said, oh, I'll never go back and see you again. But I didn't have to have surgery because of him, and you have to do the therapy, and you have to go home and do therapy. You just don't go to therapy for three days. You go home and do therapy. So I do enjoy seeing a chiropractor. That's all I needed to say. Thank you. Okay, thank you, caller. I appreciate that. So what do you think of that? There's an there's a mm, hey, put the check mark right there in the column in favor of the <laughs> chiropractor. That's a good call, by the way, because she's right. When you go to a surgeon, more times than not, it's how should I put this? It it's not that they want to do the surgery because they want the money. They probably have enough surgeries already, but it's almost like an excuse to get you in the in in the in the uh, in the gurney and get you ready for surgery, where if you go to a chiropractor, maybe they can figure it out, and maybe if you follow through with that therapy, just maybe it might help. 90 out of 100 people are gonna be benefited by chiropractic, so there's a lot of strong Wait a minute, belief. don't just throw a number out oh. there. How do you know that? Uh, clinical studies, John. <laughs> hey, watch I'm it, kidding. I'm fragile, <laughs> man, watch that, my back. I'm just, I'm just kidding, uh, it's not a scientific background, but you know, a lot of people that are coming to my office, they're having benefits, and right. those that are not having benefits, I mean, but, the but caller respond, before. Respond to this recent call here. I, I wanna know, I, I have another call, hang on. Caller, hang on a moment. Um, respond to our most recent call because she it, it, just respond to what she said. I appreciate what she said. Um, sometimes you have to work through pain to get better. Um, if you follow the plan of the chiropractor, uh, he knows exactly what he's going to do. And yes, we're going to get in there, we're going to break up tissue, and it hurts, and you get sore afterwards a little bit. Air, not all people are like that, though. They don't have severe pain. A lot of people come in and they are happy. They're like, oh, that feels so good. Right. Caller, hang on a minute. I want to ask you one other thing that that caller mentioned. If you go to an orthopedic surgeon, they're going to want to do surgery. Uh, take in more times than not, right? Yeah, that's true. Um, okay, if so you, why, why go to them first? Why not go to a chiropractor first? Well, that's the whole deal. That's what she was saying is the lady in the beginning went to a chiropractor first. It didn't okay. benefit. The, the study, or well, the trial failed her. Okay. So now what does she do? She's in this pain for 30 years. What does she do? Okay. The next step would be to incorporate possible surgery. Hang on, caller. Hang on. I'll get to you in a moment. So the, the, give me the order of procession. If you're having a problem, go to a chiropractor first. Second would be what? Well, the chiropractor will refer you to your next. So we'll, we'll do what we need to do. You're going to come in for a treatment course. This is a trial. If you're improving, we're going to continue with it and I'll give you some more. Um, you may get electrical stem, hot pack. Uh, adjustments in the beginning. We might switch it to exercises with adjustment. We may do massage with oil and and uh, we might go to the next step which would be traction or ultrasound to find something that actually benefits or breaks up the tissues. If that does not work and we can't find anything, we need to incorporate all the other medical doctors and orthos and neural surgeons. All right, the last caller, and I, I know I'm having this caller hold, the last caller mentioned a rotator cuff, I believe. Shoulder rotator cuff. Right? Yes. If, if a rotator is completely severed, the chiropractor is not going to be able to help much. You need to reattach the tendon so that it has proper function in the shoulder joint. You cannot have surgery and live with a little bit of pain. Yeah. So. Okay. And so do <clears throat> most people who go to a chiropractor and they leave, yeah, call her, hang on. I, I know I keep saying hang on, <clears throat> but I, I, need to, I need to follow this line of questioning first and I'll get to you. 
So if you go to a chiropractor and it doesn't work, does that mean that the patient didn't follow directions, did not follow through with the therapy, did not follow through with what the chiropractor was telling uh, the patient? The majority of the time, no. Uh, the doctor's gonna know if they're doing exercise or doing stretches at home, so he'll be able to be on them and, okay. and reassure them, you need to do these, otherwise we're not gonna have as much progress. But a rotator cuff, there's so many different things with rotator cuff. Like what? Well, you have, there's a space right here, Okay. And that's the that's a space where two tendons are rubbing through, and that's your rotator cuff. Well, if that's coming out and being impinged upon by a bone, you're going to rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it all day long, and it's going to swell up every single day. Does that mean you need surgery? Well, sometimes you can adjust this joint if it's up, and you can adjust that joint and create more space. Then no. But sometimes if it's so severe that it's poking the tendon and it's going to tear that tendon, yes, you do what, need well, surgery. She got, she got cured from a chiropractor. It depends on the level of rotator cuff tendinopathy, swelling issues. That's the chiropractor's knowledge, and so he got that person better. Wow. I get a lot of people that come in from shoulder pain, and we get them better. But some, we send off to the ortho. Wow. Caller, go ahead. You're on the air. You've been patient. You've been waiting. I know I have to go to a break, though. Go ahead. I'm double-checking. Can you hear me? Yeah, you're, you're on the air. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Can you hear me now? Yes. Go ahead. You're on the air. Okay. You're very, very faint. I will try to be very brief. A uh, couple of different things. I'm very interested in finding out what you guys think about yoga because I think that is what has basically uh, kept me limber my whole life. Uh, another thing is I've heard good and bad stories about chiropractors my whole life. <laughs> See? Not everybody's going to be perfect. Everybody does make a mistake. But I was actually told that my infant son could be helped with colic. You know, the, the intestinal discomfort through chiropractic, and I saw no improvement at all. Wow. So, I have heard of good, I have heard of bad. Curious, I'm not going to say the doctor, but what do you think about hearing colic? And I do wish you both a good day. I can not hear you. Okay, thank you. So... Can you address that okay. directly? Right Let, that let's, let's talk about children. When they're born, you're going to have to rotate the head as they're coming through the cavity of the pelvic. Yeah. And as they rotate that head and then you're grabbing onto the shoulder joints, that person is born. Well, that affects the neck. There's many problems. Colic. Um, mothers have problems feeding a baby. They will not rest their head on this side, but they will go this way, or they cannot turn their head. Well, since birth, there's problems. So somebody that has colic, there's many problems many instances where colic has been benefited and by adjusting the neck. If uh, somebody is breastfeeding and they can't, the, the kid will not turn his head. I just had one the other day. It was uh, probably two, I can't remember how old, maybe two months to four months old baby infant come into my office and I checked the neck and there was some tightness in the neck and the bone was out of place and all we do is set that person on my fingers and just the pressure of the head will maneuver that bone and it actually just by the baby's head pressure, uh, manipulated that bone over. And as soon as that was done, the baby turned and was able to look to the same position that he wasn't able to look, and he wanted to do that. So there's many problems. Colic is benefited. There's many problems of colic. What is the colic? Is the problem in the spine that's causing the irritation of this baby, and so he's c constantly crying? Or in this aspect where it wasn't helped, is it caused by infection or some problem in the intestine? Well, chiropractic will not help everything, and that's why we incorporate medical doctors and for that, for his instance, the next step would be the medical doctor because the chiropractic didn't help. So. Great. I love the second caller. One up on my notch. Now two maybe negatives. <laughs> you know, we need some more positives. The but that's what I said at the beginning. Chiropractic has been uh, a, 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 a sore spot, uh, a, a source of controversy for the entire nation since 1895. Since D.D. D. Palmer, who is the founder, apparently, of chiropractic back in September of uh, 1895, and apparently, according to a 28 or 2008 book, Trick or Treat uh, Treatment, states that B.J. Palmer, his son, actually ran over his father and killed him <laughs> back in 1913. Did you hear this story? That's how he died. Now, we don't know if it was actually murder, if his son murdered him, ran him over on purpose, but um, there was an eyewitness who said no. Actually, D.D. Palmer stumbled 
and fell in front of the car, and his son accidentally ran over him, and it was not murder. So I don't know what the real story. Do you know the real story? Were you there? I, I I was not there. <laughs> okay. You can read uh, up on the internet. All right, I will. I'm sure there's some positive scientific studies there. <laughs> no, you know, I, I'm sure there is. I'm sure there is. Anyway, we're going to continue with Dr. Kenneth Garvey. He's a chiropractor out of Merced. We appreciate your very important phone calls, and I will get to the question about yoga, meditation, and do you use X-rays? Can that help? Do you go to an orthopedic surgeon or do you go to a chiropractor? I don't know. 436 Me TV Option 11 as I continue to try to sit up straight in my chair. Back in a moment. The Justice Network is here. If you haven't tuned in, you're missing a great lineup of gripping stories of real crime, plus an unprecedented effort by viewers like you to play an active role in making your community safer. You can help support law enforcement by providing information that may lead to the apprehension of dangerous criminals or find a missing child. Great shows and your chance to fight crime, only on the Justice Network. Not sure what you're watching? Want to see what's coming up next? Or just want to browse what's on without the hassle of flipping channels? Your wish has come true. Now you can view schedules for all the digital TV channels available in the Central Valley. Get local weather updates and forecasts, and listen to nationally syndicated Biz Talk Radio, all on KVHF 4.1. Rescan your TV now, then tune in to Digital Channel 4.1 to start enjoying the all-new TV guide. Want to create something extraordinary? Create perfection. Our lifestyle appliances make it easy. KitchenAid, Ventura TV Appliance, and you, when only the best will do. All right, my friends, back here with Dr. Kenneth Garvey out of Merced. It's called Guy, uh, Garvey Chiropractic, and uh, he's been in business since 2002. He's actually a graduate of BYU, Brigham Young University. You root for BYU football, do you? They're 2-0. Okay, well, you fought <laughs> BYU then. Yeah, they, yeah, they beat do. Nebraska and uh, Boise State. All right, all right. You still uh, follow Steve Young, do you, even though he's retired? I don't know where he's at, but, yeah, I love, the, I love the 49ers the with him. Network, I even though I'm a Seahawks fan, I love the 49ers because he was there. All right. <laughs> Listen, in the monologue, we talked about spinal degeneration, my friends, and uh, I want you to, uh, spinal degeneration, I want to go back to some of that uh, talk now, because uh, there's a second part to that videotape that's called Garvey Number 2. I want to run that. He's going to continue talking about spinal degeneration. We're going to talk I about this after you take a look at this piece of videotape. Hi, I'm Dr. Garvey. Today we're going to talk about um, the four phases of spinal degeneration. Your spine has a curve that is normal, and that's, that, that's a normal spine. When you have injury, say for example, here's your spine, and it's moving properly, but this area of the spine is not moving properly. That's from damage. could be a car accident, wrestlers, football players are banging, so this can happen, or you could just sleep wrong. But your first phase is misalignment, and that's what a misalignment is. If it's moving, you're fine, but if it's not moving, it's misaligned and it's not moving properly. You can see on the x-ray the dark spaces. They're well maintained. There's normal spacing in between. Even though you do have this alignment, you really have not lost any joint space. But one and a half years to two and a half years, you get some decay and calcium. You see that space right there between four and five? And three and four, that space is well maintained. But look at between five and six, you see how that space just died off? Well, if there's a nerve coming through there, that space just got narrowed as well. And so that's what degeneration is. Yeah, so Dr. Garvey talking about spinal degeneration. Do you think that's what I have? You haven't examined me, of course. But what is spinal degeneration? Explain that in detail. We saw in the monologue, we saw it now with the charts. You brought a prop along to uh, show us as well. What is it? Okay. Uh, spinal degeneration. 
in between each uh, uh, verte vertebral bone is a disc space and it's cartilage and disc material. Uh, the disc is surrounded by a bunch of layers like an onion, a whole bunch of layers of cartilage. Well, that's what gives you the space. So if you can imagine this is the spine on that, uh, each of these spaces have about that much room. Well, if there is constant movement between there, the synovia fluid, which is the food for the cartilage, will get into the space and feed it. Uh, if there's non-movement, because the bone is not moving properly from injury or some type of accident, well, then the synovia fluid is not constantly getting in there. You're not getting enough fluid. So what happens? You don't so get the do food. do you need fluid in there? Synovial fluid is what feeds the cartilage. It gives it. What if you don't have that? You have it all up and down your spine. It's just the amount that is able to get in. Motion. So if, if, if you're not getting enough of that fluid, is there going to be pain? Yes, because that's what's causing the degeneration. And why, doesn't, why isn't it allowed to get in there? Is because usually there's no motion between the joint. Motion aids in allowing the synovia fluid to get into the cartilage. Right, right. And so does there need space? Does there need to be space between the cartilage, or between the... Uh, um, well, there is space. Let's just say there is space. The cartilage and the disc is, is, is this... Well, what if there's not space between the two discs? Okay, well, that's what happens. That's what degeneration is. Why did the space decrease? And why did that cartilage die? and go down. Well, now you ask me, am I sitting up straight? Well, if you have degeneration and you're supposed to have this much space in between each vertebra, and now you only have half of that space, well, your height is going to decrease with age. You're going to be smaller than six foot two when you were 20, John. Okay, I had somebody tell me yesterday, you have a sway back, a swayed back. What is that? Uh, depending on the level that they're looking at you, she's probably just saying that you have a curve in your back that you're hunched over, or... Yeah, if, but I'm sitting up straight and I'm standing up straight, yet it's still kind of swayed. Okay, then... We're not going to do it now. We'll do it during the break. Okay. We'll, we'll stand up, but tell me what that swayed back means. Is, is, it, is my spine, do I have spinal degeneration, or does that mean that's the way I'm built? If you were injured at a younger age and you have spinal degeneration, it can cause to that. No, I wasn't, I wasn't okay. hurt. Now there's other uh, aspects such as scoliosis, which right. is there's muscles that are pulling and, and put. you have a spine that's uh, crooked. Well, that's probably what she's talking about. You can have a curved back, which is supposed to be straight up and down and curved this way. Well, when it's curved to the side, that's actually scoliosis. And now you have muscles that are balancing out your spine to try to hold it into place. And now there's where a lot of the pains come in. You can hit trigger points, which I'm sure you have a trigger point. Because of your sway back, you have a tight muscle up here in your... In your can well, we don't get the, do, no, can not we, now. No, 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 let's get it. Let's get no, it. No, let's no, get no, it. Because you're going to be out of you're get the be phone. Out, of, out of camera range. Right here, here. right here. Right. Get All over right. here on John. Okay. All right. Hang on. Just right there. Hang on. Okay. No, let's get okay. this. Get this shot. Does that hurt right there? Uh, holy cow. Stop that. Okay. No, for real. For real. <laughs> it does. Okay. It does. So you have a trigger point that's right there that's tight, and that's why your shoulder is up higher. And so that's pulling on the back of your brain. Okay. Real okay. quick. Right here. All right. Do you feel that right there? Of course I okay. do. Okay. Stop that. <laughs> that pulls on the back of your head and that causes tension. Okay, it, hurt, it hurt right there when yeah. you did that. Well, this muscle so tight it's pulling in association with the okay, suboccipitals. Stay, I just want to say, stay on the, pull out, pull out to a two shot. <laughs> stay on the two shot, okay? Stay on the two shot. Right here, do that again. Go ahead. Okay. I didn't mean to interrupt. No, you're good. Right here is a suboccipital uh, muscle and it gets bunched up and tight in association with the levator scap muscle, which is a trigger point. Right. So if, if that's pulling on the back, you're going to have headaches on the right side or left side versus the other side because this shoulder is higher. So you're going to have balances and imbalances about the spine. And right. that's our job is to go in and find that and correct those problems. If the vertebra is out okay, of... So check out my back. Here, okay. take, that, take that shot. The two shot, please. Stay on the two shot. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So do I have a suede back from what you can see? You want me to take my coat off? Go ahead. Okay, let me take my coat off. Whoops, my you microphone. Them, my microphone. Mic. Okay. All right, my microphone. I just want to see, and I want you to stay on that shot, because this is the only way we're going to do this. Okay. Okay. All right. Here. Let me just, here. We can just toss that right there. <laughs> no. All right. Check out. No, no, that's just fine. Leave it. Leave it. That's I'll fine. I'll put it right over there. Yeah, that's fine. That's cool. All right. Talk into the mic there. Okay. okay. Now tell me, do I have a swayed back? I'm sitting up as straight as I can. Do I have a swayed back? Yes or no? Talk into the mic. From the back, you have anterior uh, translation of your neck. So, what does that mean? You you look like you have a nice spine in the back, and then it you have a nice backward support system. But your head is so far forward, you're causing all kinds of tension to your neck. All right, how's this? 
scoot it back just a little <laughs> bit and straight. That, right. that is much better. However, you're in, it's uncomfortable to you. What's causing this? Okay. Well, you probably have been on the studies and you've been doing this on the computer as you're preparing for all of these TV shows. <laughs> and all of this, remember TechSnack? All of this is mu moving forward. Do you remember TechSnack program? Yeah, of course. Every of course. 10 degrees, you're going to have about a 10 degree force. So if you're going down to this level, looking at your phone or your computer, you're going to have 60 pounds of pressure on your neck. And over time, that causes all of this irritation. So you think this is computer generated? Most of it is. It can be caused by accident, like the car accidents that have called in before. I've been in many car accidents. I okay. mean, now, uh, when, I live, when I lived in New York, you're, in, you're not going to believe this, but I was actually, we're t we got a call here. I'm going to ask this caller to okay. hang on, caller, hang on. <laughs> uh, stay on the shot here because I want to I explain something. When I was in New York, I'm going to ask the ca caller, are you there, by the way? I am. Okay, I want you to hang on just for a minute because I want to tell this story. I was driving a company van, a cargo van. I was working for a TV station back in New York, and I was driving recklessly. <laughs> And I crashed, and the van rolled. I rolled the van. I, was, I walked away unscathed, unhurt, unhurt. Do you think years later, without me knowing it, that it affected my back? I had no pain. There was no repercussions. I walked away. I didn't have a scratch. Boom. Here I am later, 25 years later. At that time, you can have no pain, but you could have had problems in the spine. Uh, degeneration starts in wrestlers, football players at the age of 30 when the normal population starts at the age of 40. And what is the cause of that is because there's movements in the spine that should be normal and yes. from that car accident you had you could have had problems yeah. in the spine and chronic swelling in that joint and if there's chronic swelling and non-movement okay. in that joint right. that's where the disc space narrows and you don't get the fluid but i didn't have pain joint. at the time do you have pain now john no okay you don't need to see a chiropractor <laughs> yet i don't like sitting this close <laughs> to you by the way yeah if right. i were to <laughs> examine i know there are some issues that, all right. that you could fix all right all right let's uh, stay on this uh, two shot here and we will go to the call go ahead caller you're on the air uh, yes, I would like to know, can you have too much of the chiropractic uh, treatments, and especially to your spine? Yeah. Can you have too much? Um, in, my, in my opinion, I don't think that you can have too much. Um, it, it, it's more of a, it's more of a, um, that's more of a philosophical issue. Uh, does somebody come in and get better? Most people that come into the chiropractic office are coming in for pain. Just like John said, he didn't have pain. I want to come in, I want to get rid of my pain, and when that pain goes away, I want to stop going to the chiropractor. Many people, after they're out of their pain, they don't want to return to the pain. So they ask the doctor, what is this, a proper amount of time that I should go to the chiropractor? My suggestion to them is come once a month. Just maintain the spine once a month. Just as you would go to a dentist every six months, you would maintain your spine. I would go in and check and make sure there's no movements that are in your spine that are aberrant or uh, lack of motion thereof, I would go into those areas and motion that joint just a little bit and I would actually get that bone to start moving when at the beginning it was not moving. So okay. all I do as a chiropractor is go in there and I suggest once a month to go into the chiropractor. Um, if you're going in for pain only, obviously you're going to stop after the pain uh, cease, ceases. So yeah. okay. that's, that's my suggestion. That answers your question there, caller? Yes, it does. Okay, thank you for uh, calling in. I appreciate it very much. Hey, we're going to be right back here on Connect With Me with the doctor. Don't sit this close to me, by the way. <laughs> yeah, Chiropractor is going to give me a queasy feeling. Anyway, we're back in just a moment. 436 Me TV, option 11, right after this break. When you like Ventura TV Appliance on Facebook, it's nice. But when you love the Whirlpool appliances we deliver, it's even better. Our website is cool, and it's a good place to start, but you really should touch the merchandise before you buy. Touch the new Whirlpool Ice Collection. It offers a modern style made to create an inspiring kitchen experience. Save big on this Whirlpool Black Ice or White Ice Kitchen. Come in to Ventura TV Appliance and touch the merchandise today.
Revan is now on KVHF Channel 4.4. Oh yeah, did you hear that one? <laughs> that one was good, huh? Did you like that? <laughs> here, sit right here. Okay. No, no, sitting, sitting. Right here. Okay, massage on your neck. Right here. Whoop, whoop, a little bit. There you go. <laughs> good job. Okay. Hold your arms. Just like that. Woohoo! Like that. Okay. Keep that right there. Hey, listen. Oh, that's pretty good, huh? Oh my gosh, that's Dr. Garvey, of course, working at his own practice at Gar Garvey Chiropractic in Merced. I was waiting for you to turn that little boy's head all the way around. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been funny, huh? Oh, I was just checking for some, and, and you notice the adjustment. That one's probably a little bit harder. Most of them are just, yeah. uh, most of them are softer. That was my, uh, an employee of mine's let's, child. Let's get to these topics before we <clears throat> run out of time. Okay. Yoga, is it any good? Does it help? Yes or no? Yoga is the most beautiful thing in the world. It increases flexibility. Um, most people cannot get motion in their joints. Yoga, that, that's the, the big, biggest cure for all golfers. If they have problems with their swing, opening up their swing, yeah, tell getting their, Tiger Woods. giving their pelvis. <laughs> Yoga is the best thing you could ever do for as far as your body and relaxation and stretching. Oh, yeah, it's great. Tiger I do it. Woods. I Tiger do it once Woods. a week. That's what you need to do. Tiger Woods. Yoga. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're in a major slump, my friend. You have been for years. Meditation. Does it work? Meditation, um, it relaxes everything. and. Uh, 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 takes away all distractions of the world. If your mind is freeing up and you're getting rid of the negativity, then yes, it would work. I, I don't necessarily do meditation myself. Glucose, uh, clozamine, what is it and does it work? Okay, for the spinal degeneration, we talked about that disc space narrowing, the cartilage right. actually dying off. Glucosamine sulfate and chondroitin sulfate is shark cartilage. It's a supplement that actually helps the cartilage regenerate. Hold so on, if you have, hold on, caller. If you have a disc injury and uh, you want to repair that cartilage, yes, glucosamine sulfate and chondroitin sulfate. Hold if on. you have a torn labrum on the shoulder and it's frayed and it's chronically dislocating, that's what I used when I dislocated my shoulder every two weeks. I did not have surgery. I, every two weeks it would pop out. I used glucosamine sulfate and chondroitin sulfate only while I was going to school, and uh, it stopped uh, pulling out because the, okay. the cartilage was able to repair itself. Question from the caller. Go ahead. You're on the air. Uh, real quick uh, to uh, Dr. Kenneth. Uh, did you recommend uh, in your practice uh, pain pills like Vicodin or, uh, or oh that gosh. type of pills for... Uh, you tell the doctor, well, I, I can, I, you know, I need something to her to help me, you know, uh, my, because a regular doctor will will do that, give you, the, you know, morphine or or Vicodin or you know stuff like that, and that's all doctors. You okay. just tell them, oh, I got this pain here and here, and actually, what what you're telling me, if I have a back problem, like sometimes I do, uh, he'll recommend me, he'll give me. You know, Vicodin or uh, heart, heart, you know, okay. hypercodone or, 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 you know, uh, that type of pills. Good, good question. That's a great question, caller. What about these pain medications like Vicodin? Um, you know, I don't know. So chiropractors are not allowed to prescribe medicine. They're not allowed to comment on uh, the appropriateness or you can't, to you take can't away it. In other words, you can't prescribe a medicine for me? Correct. Why? I am not licensed to do so. You have to be a okay. medical doctor or, right. yeah. The other thing is, remember, as we're having ailments, we're going into the medical doctors all the time. Um, one of the chiropractors that disagreed with medical doctors, you know, he had to go to his neurologist and get an injection to be able to stand an adjustment because he couldn't even stand the adjustment. They're all supposed to work together. Um, we're, we can't do without medical doctors. Um, obviously, if you're wanting something different from pain medication, you can ask your medical doctor, we have lots of medical doctors refer to our office say, can I try chiropractic or physical therapy? Right. A lot of them will just, well, I'm going to try physical therapy or chiropractic. Which one would you prefer? Many me uh, medical doctors do that All nowadays. Right. I want to roll a piece of videotape, my friends. It's called Little Girl Number One. This is Dr. Garvey in his office, his practice in Merced. Take a look at this, my friends. Why do you want to go first? Because why? She doesn't want you. You're the brave one of the family? Do you like getting adjusted? Does it make you feel good? Are you sure? 
Okay, let's adjust you. What part do you like the best, the neck or the back? The back. Okay, let's get your neck first. Okay, bend your head this way a little bit. Good. Okay, go ahead and go face down. And relax. Okay. She still has a short leg. See that? Hmm. Okay, over here on this side. Fold your arms. And relax. Are you ready? Okay, go face down again. Put, put your face in there. Okay. Now it's more even. Okay, you're up. All right, back here on the show, and uh, Dr. Garvey practicing, of course, in Merced, working on that little girl, just an example of what he does. Quickly, caller, out of Atwater, a call. Go ahead, you're on the air. Quickly. Hi, um, I was wondering, was he familiar with a condition called torticollis? Yes, I am. And with, okay, because I have that. I've had it for 11 years. Um, do you think, have you ever treated someone with um, torticollis? Yes, I have. It's a it's a condition where the the muscles in the neck are spasming and and your neck turns to the side. Um, the majority of people initially that come in, they have about eight visits, and we work the neck muscles and adjust certain areas of the spine. Mm -hmm. And usually after eight visits, it's cured. Um, somewhere between three and eight, they get better. Uh, some people with a long term uh, torticollis that do not get better, then we would have to refer to. Uh, a medical doctor or some other surgeon and actually sometimes they will actually cut the muscle and reattach it so that it, it uh, relaxes the spasm but there's many different conditions yes we've okay. we, we've cured a lot of people with torticollis that's a lot of okay. our practice we're running short on time is that okay ma'am does that satisfy you do you want to go in and see him um, yeah okay well, we'll give your phone number out real quick to this young lady 209-726-3000 726 3000 did you get that ma'am okay. Yeah, seven two six three thousand. Yes, yes. ma'am. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for your for your call. Very uh, important call there. Do you use X-rays? Yes or no? Uh, I refer out X-rays. Um, better quality. Uh, allow okay. the radiologist to actually read it, and then I get to read it. All so right. there's a double reading Quick, there. Quickly, in 1963, the American Medical Association formed a committee called Quackery, designed to contain and eliminate the chiropractic profession. Uh, in 1966, the AMA referred chiropractic as an unscientific cult, and in 1980, uh, that uh, um, ruling was uh, called unethical uh, for the medical profession, but eventually it moved into the mainstream. Is chiropractic now part of mainstream medicine, yes or no? Yes, it is. We work hand in hand with medical doctors. If we need to refer out, they refer to us. Okay. And so, yes, we do. We've got 30 seconds. Crack my back. <laughs> Hurry, take the two uh, shots. You know, Stay in there. John, crack, you don't crack have my any, back. There's no need. You don't have any pain. That's what you said. No, I want you to crack the back. <laughs> crack. We have 30 seconds. Hold crack still. the back. Hold still. Okay. There. Oh, ah! <laughs> did that crack? Yeah, it did. Thank you so hey, much. I'll, I'll see you afterwards. <laughs> That's going to do it for us here on Connect With Me. See you tomorrow. We'll talk about the trucking industry in the state of California. See you then. Have a great day. Thank you, sir, very much. That was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> right, I want to discuss the importance God created the world. Whole thing from collapsing. He invented humor. <laughs>